and welcome to my channel. So today's topic is Phonetics in Complete Denture. It is one of the easiest topic yet trickier. So types of sounds are classified as labial sounds, labiodental sounds, lingodental sounds, lingopalatal sounds, true palatal sounds, nasal sounds and vowel. BPM these are labial sounds. Some books have also named it bilabial sound. When upper and lower lip meet together, an air pressure is built up behind the lips, which releases with or without a voice sound. So, what is its significance in complete denture? Labiolingual position of anterior teeth and the thickness of labial flange can affect the sounds. Cleft lip and incompetent lip can affect the sound too. F, V, 5, 55. So these are labiodental sounds. When the upper incisor and the posterior one third of the lower lip meet together to produce these sounds, abnormal position of upper and lower teeth both affects the labiodental sound. If upper teeth are too long, F will sound like V. And if upper teeth are too short, V sounds like T. So if upper teeth are too long, a person who is intended to speak feather will sound like weather. Other one is lingodental sounds, TH, like 33, when the tip of the tongue extends outside the upper and lower anterior teeth. When the tip of the tongue is not visible, the anterior teeth are too far forward except in class 2 occlusion. If more than one fourth of tip of the tongue is visible, then teeth are placed too far lingually. Excessive vertical overlap does not provide sufficient space for the tip of the tongue, which affects this sound. Lingopalatal sounds from the anterior palate. When the tip of the tongue contacts the anterior portion of the palate or the lingual side of the anterior teeth, these are also known as lingoalveolar sounds, and these are D, N, Z, R, S. S sounds produced by the position of the tongue so that air stream releases through a small gap between tongue and ruge. S will sound like SH, which means SIP will sound like SHIP when entero posteriorly is placed. Lingopalatal sounds from the posterior palate. When the tongue forms a valve when it contacts the palate and the release of air helps in producing the sounds. And the sounds produced are R, J, CH, SH, like ship. It helps in positioning of anterior teeth. When these sounds are produced, anterior teeth come close, but they do not meet. Velar sounds. When tongue forms a valve similar to the other lingopalatal sounds, but posteriorly than the others, then they are called velar sounds, specifically produced from soft palate. And sounds like K, G, N, G, like I'm going, I'm going. So, ing portion of that sentence is a part of velar sound. In case of cleft, these sounds are affected. In artificial denture, these sounds are not affected. Now, whistling or lisping, it can occur when pronouncing S. So, these two are different phenomenon in whistling. When the interior part of the tongue is obstructed and the groove is too large for escape of the air, whistling occurs. And lisping occurs when the air space is too small. So to correct it, palatal part of denture must be made thinner. If you have any queries or any basic topic which you want me to cover, then please drop down your queries. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.